Well, good morning, everybody. I am thrilled to be here with you today, and I want to thank the president for his generous introduction. I think I have attended this meeting a lot of times, and I'm always happy to see the wonderful firefighters from around our great nation. My name is Muriel Bowser. I'm the mayor of Washington, D.C., in my view, the greatest city in the world. Uh, and I happen to be the mayor for an outstanding fire in an EMS department right here in the District of Columbia. We have enjoyed just a tremendous partnership with Local 36 uh, and their members who work for fire and EMS, the busiest, one of the busiest departments in the country, a department that keeps not only me safe, uh, the 33,000 people that work for DC government, uh, but also some very significant national treasures uh, in our nation's capital. I am very proud of the work that we've been able to get done uh, at DC Fire and EMS over the last two years. We've had a fantastic two years under the leadership of Chief De Gregory Dean. Now, I recruited Chief Dean, uh, who had been a firefighter for 40 years in Seattle, Washington, and some people thought he wanted to retire. Uh, but we said we need him to come to this Washington, D.C., so that we could put a focus on firefighting, emergency management, uh, and training, and making sure that all of our members have all of the training and equipment that they need. The turnaround and the appreciation for that investment has been tremendous. It was also my focus to make good on some promises that the city had made to our firefighters, but for years and years and, I don't know, arbitrations and court cases after court cases, we couldn't manage to get it done. But I was happy that we had the type of partnership with Local 36 that allowed us to make the payments that we owed our firefighters in the District of Columbia after eight years of fighting for it. And since... And since becoming mayor, I've invested in the personal protective equipment, the supplies and gear, gear that our firefighters need. We have also made significant investments in our hiring uh, and in vehicles. What we have made a hallmark of my administration is how in a city as prosperous as ours and growing as robust as ours, how more people have a pathway to the middle class. And we know that we have good paying careers in Washington, D.C. And one of those is in fighting fires and providing emergency services. It was also important to me to make sure that we had a 911 call center that could better support the work that you do to get you in the best position to save lives. Uh, I have enjoyed, I was listening to my colleague from, from Tennessee a little bit earlier, and I was thinking about all the times that, that we've been together. Uh, and in May, I'm going to celebrate 10 years in elective office, five elections, and I think that the firefighters have been with me from start to finish, because we do understand public safety. The first job of any mayor is to make sure that the city is safe. Make sure that you're investing in the men and, men and women that make neighborhoods good um, and have the confidence of the people who we work for, the people of the District of Columbia. So I want to thank you not only for choosing to meet here, have your headquarters here, and go talk to your members of Congress. I can't tell you how important it is that they see you and recognize the work that you're doing so there's no rolling back of the investments of our government. We have to pay special attention uh, because there's some sense that you know government and workers and local governments are going to have to fight back in some ways. So it's important that your members of Congress recognize the work that you're doing. And I always ask that you think about the 680,000 people who live here in Washington, D.C. Because when you go to the Capitol, you're going to talk to your senators, right? You're going to talk to your Congress people. And even though we all pay taxes here in Washington, just like every state, we don't have voting members of Congress. So when you go there, you're speaking 
for the members of Local 36 right here in Washington, D.C. too. So I know that there's going to be a lot of legislating and lobbying and all of that today, but I also hear there's going to be a big party uh, that uh, Local 36 is going to throw for you uh, right here in our D.C. neighborhood. So please not only go to Capitol Hill, but look at all of the wonderful things that your nation's capital has to offer. God bless you all. all right.